Freddie and the Yetis. It's our original music uh, project. I play with a lot of local guys out in Denver. That's where we're based out of. The music scene is amazing here. Everyone's just pumped to hear about any kind of a music project. Uh, the fans just turn out for anything. I think like online is the easiest way just to kind of quantify like what you're, you're doing, how, how your marketing is working. Um, I try less and less to be involved with that. It's just hard to, to keep up with it sometimes. We'll just like find someone who's a good fan who's like willing to uh, sit there and like sell our stuff, you know, for us. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of like ways we do it. But I mean, having an online, like an easy, easily accessible, like online platform to like. Just for people to be like, I saw them, I, I saw I saw the show, I saw the thing online, I looked them up. This is where I can buy the stuff. I think that could work really well for a lot of fans. I mean, if you compare anything to like selling vinyl records like back in the day, I don't think anything sells anything compared to that. Uh, but streaming, I don't know. I mean, you just hear how however many stories of like big artists that have like millions of hits. Couple hundred dollars off of like the song that has a million. It's just like it doesn't. It's just, it does not make any sense. I don't want. I don't want listening to music to be difficult. But I also. I don't think that we have to have a subscription technology while not having like a proper, proper like you know division of where that money is going to and from. If there's even any money, you know. As far as like with my band, Freddie and Ladies, you know. Playing gigs for sure, private lessons, teaching at like schools and stuff like that, do all that. And then uh, I drive for Uber also. I mean, if I had like four or five like friends or someone who came up to me and was like, I like do whatever it, it takes to get the band like off the road, I'd be like, all right, DIY, like let's let's do it. This is a real, but you know, no one, there's no money to be made in this really industry right now. I just think of the way the world works now, and just is a need to someone outside of the band helping with the business side of things. Yeah, I, I, it's definitely something that interests me, um, having a label. Yeah, not like signing over to the biggest label ever, and like, but like, you know, there's small labels, there's huge labels, and all that. Time ain't wasted if you're using the 